Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you some support and resistance secrets that you may or may not know. Specifically, I want to talk about horizontal versus dynamic levels and how you can actually combine both horizontal and dynamic levels at the same time. Now, there are many YouTube videos about uh, you know, both horizontal levels and dynamic levels, but we haven't really seen any videos that talk about how do you combine the both of them. So in today's video, uh, you are in for a treat because I want to show you how to do just that. Now, before I talk about how to do that, uh, I just want to break down uh, what the support and resistance levels are, what, what is a fixed support and resistance level, what is a dynamic support and resistance levels. Then I want to show you uh, certain tricks or cool tools that you can use to help you identify it. And then I'll just finally end off the video by showing you how do you combine uh, both fixed and dynamic support and resistance uh, at the same time to increase uh, your accuracy rate, right? Because if you can combine both in a seamless manner, then you're able to high, find higher probability trades. And who doesn't love higher probability trades? So let's get into today's video. Now, by the way, if you're new, right, really appreciate if you can just take three seconds of your time to like this video, to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because uh, we are on a mission to impact 100,000 traders and with your help, uh, we can get there. So we also have a free day trading guide. So make sure you download it if you have not. Okay, uh, it's totally free and it will get you uh, started, especially if you are a new trader. So what is a fixed support and resistance level? This is very straightforward. It's just basically a simple horizontal line. Okay, I have an example over here. It's just a horizontal line that you draw. Uh, not, I'm not saying that you anyhow draw the horizontal line. Of course, you have to look at the charts and uh, identify turning points in the charts. In a moment's time, I'll show you a cool trick as to how do you find uh, these levels, how do you draw these levels. But basically, a fixed support and resistance level is a fixed price level. Okay, as the name suggests, it is fixed, meaning that it doesn't change. The market can move up, it can move down, it can move anywhere. These levels will not change, it will always be there. So this is a fixed support and resistance levels. Again, uh, we do have more uh, information about how do you draw these levels in the free day trading guide. So if you've not gotten it, just make sure to download it, it's totally free. So what I want to do right now is I want to go onto the charts and I want to show you a cool trick that you can use to uh, easily identify fixed support and resistance levels. So right now, uh, we are looking at the Euro Aussie chart. We are on the daily chart. So this cool trick just involves changing to the line chart. So when you ha have the line chart, what you're able to see is that you're able to see the turning points very clearly. So for example, you can see that there's a turning point here, there's a turning point here, 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 and so on and so forth. So what you want to do is that uh, you want to just uh, draw some horizontal levels. Try to draw your horizontal levels in such a way that it touches uh, as many um, it touches as many um, turning points as possible. Something like this, you see there's one here, uh, there's almost one here, one, two, then this one is quite close. Something like this. Same thing for the top. So this is how you draw your turning points. This is how you identify horizontal uh, support and resistance level. Just change the line chart and uh, you can see the turning points very easily. Change back to the line chart and then you have your levels. Something like this, this is how you can do, right? So feel free to practice this. It's a very powerful concept. It's simple, but it's very powerful. Especially if you know, you're a bit confused and you, your eyes are not well trained and you can't really tell where uh, the support and resistance level are. So sometimes uh, you know, the levels are obvious, like this one over here is obvious. But sometimes uh, when you are trading and uh, you see that there's uh, a lot of messy price action over here and you can't really see the levels, then uh, changing to the uh, line chart will definitely help. So this is just a very cool tip uh, that I have for you. Now, what is a dynamic support and resistance level? It is just the opposite. Dynamic means it's not fixed. It's just the opposite of fixed, meaning that uh, the levels are not fixed. So as price move, as price move, the levels itself move. So you do not have a fixed price level. So right here, I have another chart. Uh, this is the 20 EMA. Let me just uh, write it down. Okay, so moving average. And you can see that uh, the resistance is actually dy dynamic in nature, meaning that price was resisted here at the uh, 20 EMA. And then after that, price was resisted here at the 20 EMA. And then after that, here resisted and even over here. So you can see that the, the resistance level is, uh, it's, 
is declining. It's not a fixed level where price just keeps hitting the same level, but it's a level which keeps moving down as our price goes down. So this is what I call a dynamic uh, support and resistance level where the levels are not fixed. So how do you identify it? There are some cool uh, indicators that you can use to help you identify it and I want to show them to you. Now, of course, there are many indicators, there are many tools that can help you to do this to help you identify the dynamic support and resistance levels. But just for this purpose of this video, I want to introduce to you two indicators. Okay, the main, main reason why I want to stick to these two indicators is because they are common indicators and these indicators are very easy to use. In fact, we have a lot of other videos on how to use each of these indicators. So what I will do is that I'll leave a link at the top right somewhere over here so that uh, you can check out how do you use these tools. But as for this video, I just want to give you a very uh, brief uh, introduction to how do you use these uh, tools uh, to identify your dynamic and support and resistance levels. So let's go back into the chart. The first indicator I want to talk to you about is the uh, Bollinger Band. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, you want to add the indicator in. So you come over here and I just type Bollinger Band. And uh, just use the default of 20, uh, 22. 20 means a uh, 20 period uh, moving average. Uh, two is the standard deviation. So actually, we don't really need the EMA in this case. So how do you use it? Very simple. When you have the upper, upper band, when price at the upper band, that's a potential resistance. And at the lower band, it's the potential support. So how you use it is very simple. It's your dynamic support and resistance level. So let's say uh, price at a lower band, uh, that is your dynamic support. And if it's at upper band, it's your dynamic resistance. Now, please, uh, be, please do not take this out of context, right? Please be very wary of this. I'm not saying that every time price comes to the bottom of the band or at the upper band, you buy or you sell. I'm just saying that these are your dynamic support and resistance levels that you want to pay attention to. Uh, what we have um, in our three-day trading guide is a step-by-step -step, uh, guide on how to analyze the market, basically we teach you the MPE strategy, which stands for market condition, price level, and uh, entry. So you do not just want to use the Bollinger Band uh, and your dynamic support and resistance blindly. This is just a part of the equation. It is not the entire equation when it comes to trading. So that is very important. So uh, this indicator is very useful. Uh, in a moment's time, I'll show you how to combine uh, both the uh, dynamic support and resistance with your horizontal uh, support and resistance levels. So this is the first indicator. The second in indicator is actually the, 20, the moving average. Uh, a Bollinger Band actually consists of a moving average. If you can see this, uh, this red line here, this is actually a moving average by itself. But uh, just so not as to confuse you, I will just delete it. And what I'll do is I will put in uh, the moving average. So let's say I'll do a uh, moving average and let's just say I use a very normal uh, period moving average of 20. So you can see that uh, it's the same thing. Uh, in fact, this was the example that I had shown you earlier. This is dynamic resistance, this is dynamic resistance and this so on and so forth. Here you can see that uh, this entire zone here is also resistance and then after that it broke. It acted as a form of support before it was broken. So just a gentle warning, uh, if you are using the moving average, uh, moving average only works in a trending scenario. So please do not use a moving average in a range bound scenario such as uh, you know, something like this where price is a bit more range bound and choppy. Okay, again, uh, I do cover more of this in our other videos. I've left the link on the top right. So feel free to check that video out after you have watched this video. So let me go back to the slides and uh, carry on uh, with the last part of today's video. So I showed you uh, what the dynamic support and resistance level is. I showed you what a fixed support and resistance is. Now I want to show you how to combine both. Because if you can combine both, then you're going to have a more confluence. And more confluence means that uh, there are more people using it. And therefore, it's a higher probability setup. So this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. Of course, uh, let me just walk you through uh, each of these steps. And after that, I'll go on to the charts and show you a case study of how to actually apply it. So very simple. Step one, you want to draw your fixed support and resistance level. Always start with your fixed levels. Then after you draw your fixed levels, then you want to load up your indicators. So earlier on, I introduced to you the Bollinger Band. 
Okay, basically you are using the lower and upper band and the moving average, uh, you want to use it when uh, the market is trending. After you do that, then uh, you want to wait for your dynamic uh, levels to align with your fixed support and resistance levels. So what I'll do next is I'll go into the charts to show you how to do it so that uh, you're not confused because this is still a theory. So let's go back into the charts and walk you through step by step. Okay, let me just uh, clear everything and maybe we work on a uh, euro dollar. Okay, so this is euro dollar here. So step one, uh, let me just start with a clean chart. Step one is to draw your horizontal levels. So again, uh, I had the quick tip, tip for you. If you are not able to see the turning points, switch to the line chart. So in this case, uh, I can see it very well because my eyes are trained. But let's say you can't do it, uh, just switch it to the line chart and uh, you can see that uh, I pretty much uh, drawn uh, some of the levels. Um, I do not, I'll not draw every single level, but I'll just draw the main levels. So these are the levels. So step one is done. You draw your horizontal support and resistance level. Now let's look at step two. What is step two? Step two is uh, you want to load up your indicators. So in this case, let me just load up the moving average indicator first. Put it to 20 period. Close. And you can see that uh, there is a form of uh, support coming in over here. But the thing is, uh, my resistance that was broken is uh, at this level here. So what I want to do is that I want to wait for price to, uh, let me see if I can draw it. I want to wait for this moving average to come up to here and then look for a candlestick price action uh, before I take a trade. So basically right now what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the dynamic support to catch up with the fi fixed support because we established that the fixed support is here, but the dynamic support is still here, it's still at lower. Because remember I said that your dynamic support moves as price moves. So right now your dynamic support is still a bit low. It's not aligned with the uh, horizontal support. So what we want to do is we want to wait for uh, the level to come and you time the market somewhere here when there is a confluence between uh, your moving average and the uh, horizontal support and resistance level, then uh, that's a higher probability trade setup. Again, I want to stress that you need to do full analysis such as, you know, market condition. Uh, are you in a bu bullish trend? Are you in a bearish trend? Are you in a consolidation? You want to do all this type of stuff um, instead of just applying this uh, blindly. Of course, the other indicator that you can apply uh, will be the uh, Bollinger Band. So you can see that the Bollinger Band is still a bit low. So in this case, it's a, it's a bit far. What you can do, a cool tip would be uh, to go to the lower time frame and uh, wait for uh, the, you know, the, this lower band to be somewhere around here. Of course, this is more advanced because this is incorporating multiple time frame analysis. It can be a bit confusing. While we advocate that you do multiple time frame analysis, it's a bit more complicated. So if you are new, uh, perhaps this is not for you right now because you might just confuse yourself. But I think uh, this is how you can use the dynamic support and resistance with your horizontal support and resistance. Okay, so hopefully that is clear. So I hope, uh, you know, this clears up the air and uh, you have a good understanding. Of course, uh, if you are not clear, just leave a comment down below. Let us know if we need to record another video about this, uh, we will. Okay, just let us know. We love to connect with you. At the same time, right, please give us a thumbs up. Really appreciate it, right? Please hit the notification bell and the subscribe button as well. Okay, so just a recap about what I covered today, right? I share with you what a fixed support and resistance level is. Okay, basically it is a fixed horizontal level that does not move. No matter how the market moves, the level doesn't change. I also showed you a cool trick to identify the levels. Basically, you want to change to the line chart and find the major turning points. Then I covered uh, what is a dynamic support and resistance level. Basically, uh, it is a level which moves. Okay, how you do it is that uh, you use a moving average, okay, a MA, or you use a Bollinger Band to uh, identify these levels. Of course, there are many other tools, but uh, for today's video, I just want to introduce to you two of these tools. Then lastly, I showed you how do you combine both the fixed and dynamic support and resistance level. Basically, uh, you want to identify your fixed support and resistance level first, then you want to load up your indicators, and then you want to wait for your dynamic support and resist, resistance level to align with your fixed levels. So it's rather straightforward, okay? This has been uh, 
a very easy lesson. But of course, if you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment down below. We'd love to help you. We do read every single one of your comments. So if you have any questions, just let us know. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.